Welcome back again to a uh, another Sunday sermon. Haven't done uh, one of these in uh, quite some time. Uh, schedule has been um, um, I have things to do. I'm 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 all over the place. Uh, some days again, I'm up by 5 a.m., not home till maybe 9. Um, when you get home, it's just like you just don't care about anything else. And, um, but anyways, uh, I'm, I'm still doing well. Um, but again, another Sunday sermon. Um, I, I'm gonna use these as more as, um, encouragement videos I'm gonna to try to be as encouraging as possible and, and um, try not to be as ruthless or blunt of a uh, of a I guess a, of, of, a, of a video of a, of a person uh, again I hope everyone's doing great and have has been having a dog free week month and a year so far um, Overall, uh, I've been doing great. Um, only issues that I, you know, go through is um, in, in, in like real life, and in, in in like in in like the real life is um, every time I drive, man, I'm always seeing dogs. <clears throat> always seeing some dog not walk their dog. Other than that one day where I went. Dog free, one hundred percent. Nearly every day I drive or go outside, I am seeing someone walk their worthless nuts. You know, a lot of people have it way, way worse than me, and and I'm and you know, I, I'm and I'm I'm grateful. You know, at, at the same time really wish that everyone else could be as dog free as I am um, I guess where I live so far has been pretty good uh, I haven't seen or heard any issues regarding dogs as much um, compared to others that go through things pretty much 24 7 so I feel you I feel you I feel you um, yeah so I, I want <clears throat> to encourage people um never go to a dog owners or lovers or dog nuts house never do it. it just don't do it don't gamble it don't take the risk just don't go to someone's house if they have and own a dog. Don't do it. And I, I say this because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. And it's not just about being attacked. Being attacked is a big one. But it's also the diseases. It's also uh, having to be influenced by these dog nutters who often are filthy people. You go to their house and you hang around them. You be you 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 become that in, in a sense if you, if you if if you continue to be around them. There's that old saying: "You are what you eat." And for years, I've always wondered what does that mean. But but I get it now. It's, it's whoever you hang around is what you are. Even if you, you know, are a closet dog hater, don't own a dog, but you still hang around dog nuts and you're not open with it, you, you know, you tend to, to be influenced by their behavior, by their attitude. And a lot of these dog nuts are just rude people. Rude, reckless people. Some of them know they're rude and reckless. Some of them can't even defend that, hey, you're wrong. A lot of them are rude and reckless. 
They're disgusting. They're filthy. You know, a lot of them have their dog licking on the utensils and plates. Do you really want to be eating off that? Do you really want to be eating off that? Where their dog is in the kitchen, on the tables, on the chairs, the sofa. I mean, let's say you're a long night, <coughs> you go to a dog nut's house and whatever, <coughs> and you're sleeping on the sofa. That dog's ass dander and its saliva has been on that sofa. Do you really want to be sleeping on that? Again, don't go to dog nuts house, houses, home, apartments. It's not worth it. And I, I made a mistake. And as a child, though, I, I can see as a child you make that mistake. Because we don't know much about them. We don't know know much about them. We make that we're gonna make that mistake a couple times. But when you're like a an older teenager, a grown adult, you can't be making that mistake. I remember back in the day, uh one of my pals, I went to his house and he had a dog. And again, I've always hated dogs. And, you know, I wanted to go to his house, play some video games, you know, uh, sometimes we watch WrestleMania uh, 18, um, and just hang out, hang hung out. And <clears throat> fortunately, again, I wasn't attacked, uh, um, but, and unfortunately, again, he, he was able to keep the dog in a separate room. But, but that was dumb of me to, to even step foot in the house. Knowing there is a killer German Shepherd in the same house. <coughs> that could come out anytime doing whatever. At any time. And again, I wasn't attacked. But man, I remember it. Like it was yesterday. That house stank. That house. And no disrespect to him. Good kid. He was a good kid. Haven't seen him since maybe 2006. Good kid. But that house stank so bad. It stank. And at the time, it's like as a child, I kind of ignored it. <clears throat> didn't want to say anything, didn't want to judge or whatever. Didn't know what it was, really. But studying this dog culture, you know, come to realize that these dogs do stink. Um, his mom, from what I remember, he was she was a smoker. So I wasn't sure, maybe it was the, the, the cigarette stench. But, but damn, that, that house, it stank bad. Bad. And, and I went to his house a few times. I, I, I can't, again, I, I was only a child back then, but that was, I, I, <laughs> <clears throat> but anyways, um, it, it stank bad. And, and a lot of these dog nuts know that their dog stinks. They know it. They get used to it. That's why they sell products to eliminate dog stink. So, so you dog nuts, you can't lie. You can't defend this. Dogs do stink. They stink up your houses. You know it stinks. You know it. You have products to fight off the, the, the smell. You know your Febreze isn't working. Your Lysol isn't working. You probably put maybe car air freshers in your house, and that's still not working, because dogs stink. That's so why they have products. They they sell you these dogs, and they sell you all these various products, so your house doesn't stink like dog. Filthy. Very very filthy. And again, that's another reason. Don't go to their houses because their houses stink. Just remember the. Um, that Seinfeld episode where um, I guess the valet stunk up the car and, and the stench went on to Jerry, Elaine, 
George, you know, Kramer, everyone kept saying they stink. <clears throat> that's, how, that's how it might be. You step in their house, that stink stench goes on to you. And everywhere you go, man. What did Jerry say? It's a beast. It, it destroys everything in its path. That, that, again, just for the smell alone should, should, should repel you from stepping into a dog nut's house. Don't do it. Just don't do it, man. Checking on the thing. So, so again, I don't watch the Super Bowl, but eight seconds left, and uh, the Chiefs are up 38 35. Um, I won't lie. Again, I don't care about this crap, but I was um, leaning on the Eagles for some reason. I thought the riddle for the Eagles was, was there. At the same time, Mahomes, you know, Brady just retired. They're, they're saying Mahomes is like the new face of the NFL or whatever. Uh, but anyways, uh, just, yeah, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, just don't don't go to, to, to Dognut's house. Uh, you know, there, there's also the attacks and all that stuff, but solely just because their house stinks and it's filthy, do not. Do not go over to a dog nut's house. It's it's not worth it. Not worth it. Because you go in there, that stench might be on you, on your clothes, and you know you, you might transfer that stench in, to someone else. Just don't do it, please. Let these dog nuts suffer in their own house. Um <clears throat> Yeah. And with um Another note, uh, these dog nuts, um, I don't think they ask, they don't ask the right questions. They're not asking the right questions. They, they, they willfully and freely just jump on this dog culture and, and, and just go along with it. And it's funny how a lot of dog nuts behave exactly the same with their rhetoric, their their statements, the way of tra it's like exactly the same. It's like the behavior is exactly the same. And, and they, they, again, they just don't ask questions. They just go with it. They just go with whatever. If, if you're a, a dog trainer, they just go with you. You know, you love dogs, they're going to side with you. They're not going to question it. They're not going to question these dogs and where they come from and why some look so ugly and why some are this or that. No, they can't, they can't ask questions because if they ask questions, that's going to conflict with their dog nuttery. If that conflicts with their dog nuttery and they ask questions to another dog nut, that dog nut might take, it, uh, take offense. It might go and attack that person for asking questions. <clears throat> Don't be surprised that happened. That's why a lot of dog nuts to stay quiet regarding dogs. Because they already have a script set up. They already have a script set up. If anything happens, if the dog does anything, just blame the owner. Blame the closest person. Dogs are always innocent, apparently. And, and they don't they don't question this. Like why are dogs always innocent? Why why though? The dogs could never do no wrong, even if a dog does wrong. It's like the dog didn't do wrong, and they just blame someone else. It's it's leashes. It's it's noise. It's attacks. It smells. It's being annoying. The barking, fireworks, doors, uh, doorbells, delivery person. Oh my goodness! So many factors that affects dogs. But every single time, they're going to find and blame the closest human for them. Usually the owner. It's going to blame the owner. But again, they don't ask questions. They don't question nothing. They don't ask the right questions, probably the best way to say it. They don't want to. Again, uh, it's 
going to come through their dog nunnery. Even though they know something is wrong with this dog culture, they're, they're not going to question it. They're going to ignore it. They're going to put their blindfold on and, and ignore it. Like, it's ridiculous. Man. Like, how do you, how do you, and some of these dog nuts live their whole entire life as a dog nut. How do you do that without asking a few questions? How? How do you not think, no, something isn't right with these things? Why do dogs behave this certain way? Why are so much factors, why are there so much factors that affect dogs? Why are we always blaming the owner? Why do we ignore the, the fact that dogs kill people? They kill children. They bite children, maul children on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. And, and they can't see that there's something wrong with this. <clears throat> Again, it's not like they need a dog. Not like dogs are essential. Like dogs are clothes. Dogs food. Well, to some, yeah, but come on. They know they don't need a dog, but they go out and get it. But again, it's this uh, monkey see. No, it's this dog nut see, dog nut do, this dog culture. Just because one person does it, they, the other person just follows along and they don't ask questions. They just follow along and go along with it. <clears throat> but somehow, they all have the same excuse. The same excuse is the same mumble jumble all the time. And it's, it's painful. So I, I um, encourage um, dog nuts to ask questions. Ask questions. Ask questions like, why did Caesar's Milan Land's dog attack another dog? If this guy is like one of the best dog trainers, why did that happen? Ask question is ask questions like, why did nothing like why why wasn't there any um, focus on that Hope guy and his dogs? His dog attacked another dog, but it's like no one cares. <clears throat> just they just pick and choose what they not even about picking I don't know it, it, it's, I don't think it's like picking and choosing it's just they just go along with whatever dog culture says one day dogs weren't even allowed in the house next thing you know they're on sofas they're in your bed some people are are, are, are making out with a dog literally going deep into their dogs, literally. Man. Gotta ask questions. That being said, anytime you're going over to someone's house for the first time or even the second, tenth time, always ask if they have a dog. If they say yes, just go home. Go wherever else. Don't bother arguing it. Don't bother debating it. Just go home. Just turn around and say, see ya, man, just go home. If you really hate dogs or afraid of dogs, whatever, just, you can't, you can't negotiate with these dog nuts. Because they don't care about you. They don't care. It's all about their dog. They don't care about your well-being. Yeah, another thing I wanted to say, I just, I just slipped out of my head. But yeah, it's about dogmas. They just don't care. They don't care about their children. They don't care about themselves. They don't care about people in the community. They just don't care. A lot of these dogmas are slobs and disgusting. So if they can't take care of themselves... If they need some service dog, 
What does it, doesn't that say anything? <clears throat> to me, that says, hey, I don't care about myself. Hey, I'm incompetent. I'm lazy. I can't figure things out on my own, which is why I have this worthless mind. Again, they don't even care about their children. Man, they're putting their babies in the arms, in the jaws of these pit bulls, of dogs, period. They don't care about their well-being. This is all a tent for attention and views and, and about their dog. Again, these dog nuts don't care. And they can't defend that. They can't, they can't, what are they, what are they going to say? They do care? Then why are you endangering your own children? Why do you look so shitty? Why do you look like a slob if you really cared about yourself and children? Why do you even need a dog? Like, come on. Ask questions, please. Reflect sometimes. But but again, there's this stigma with dogs. Like, if you dispose a dog or a bad a dog, man, they're going to come after you. But really, for me, I don't really don't care. If that was me, I wouldn't care. I'd be like, it's my choice. I, I don't want the dog. So, I mean, like, why would you want someone who doesn't want the dog to keep a dog? Why would you want someone... To keep a dog when you don't even know what problems they're going through. Let's say this person is broke. <coughs> Got broke for whatever reason. You want them to keep the dog? How are they going to feed themselves and their families? Maybe they maybe they, they thought uh, uh, disposing this dog at a shelter would be best. Because maybe this dog is going to find a, a dog that, that can take care of this thing for the rest of its life. Uh, again... Dog nuts again. They don't ask questions. They just, they just, they get out. They judge you bad. Again, especially if if you abandon a dog for whatever reason. They don't know the reason. They don't know what happened, but they're gonna judge you, and they don't care. They're gonna attack you, call you names, insult you. But they again, they don't ask questions. What do you expect? What do you expect? No names. No no questions asked. Man. Again. <clears throat> Dog nuts, they don't care. They don't care about themselves. They're wanting to live with these nasty things. Some of them live with multiple. Man, how do, how do you live with something so ugly as well? Every morning you gotta wake up to this ugly thing. Plus their stench, plus their their fur, dander, their barking, their smell, plus them probably attacking or killing someone. Man, these dog nuts, man, are special. Dog nuts are very special people. They're able to tolerate these worthless mutts, but for what? For what? For absolutely nothing. Nothing. They tolerate these things for nothing. <clears throat> nothing. Oh, there, there, my throat is killing me. Again, just a recap. Again, don't go to someone's house because mainly just because their house might stink really bad. Don't do it. Just please don't do it. Just stay away. Um, stay away from the house. Period. If, if they ask to go to your house, or to, to their house, or uh, and they ask if they have a dog, and they say yes, don't don't bother. If it's a dog not coming to your house, you better make sure they don't bring that dog. Maybe a fifty feet away from your house, at least. And, and you gotta you gotta be mindful. You gotta be very suspect of these dog nuts. They're very sneaky. Very sneaky people. Um, these dogs don't ask questions. They just follow along. They don't ask the right questions. I should say that. They don't ask the right questions. They follow along and... That's it. They just go with the flow. Or go with the dog nut. He said this. They do that. Let's do it too. They're getting views and likes. Let's, let's do it too. 
And um, again, Dognus, they don't care about themselves. They don't care about their own children, people in the community. And even some would, would go as far as saying some don't even care about the dog. Again, no one needs a dog, but they have it there for, again, brainwash. Just to follow, to fit in. I mean, they need an icebreaker. They need a companion, so they get a dog. But again, nothing comes out of get, owning a dog. You get nothing other than empty pockets. Empty wallet, empty bank account, just for a dog? So you got to pay someone else to take care of your own dog? Something that is incompetent and he's stupid? I'm tired and my voice is hurting me. And my throat is hurting. And it there in this Sunday sermon. This is another worthless smuts for the dog butcher. And remember, it's okay to hate dogs. Thank you for joining me. And if I don't, um, I may not even upload this on Sunday per se, but I may upload it for Monday. So just let you guys know. Anyways, peace.